All right, welcome to this video about domain and range of continuous graphs. The first thing I need to have you do is finish watching this video, and then I'll walk you through the first three questions of your classwork, and then you'll need to download the slideshow in your, into your Google Drive, and then work out the last four questions of your classwork. Um, before we begin, we need to first of all talk about what a continuous graph is. A continuous graph is a graph you can create without picking up your pencil. So there are three types of graphs you're gonna see in this, in this classwork that you need to be aware of. Some graphs that start and end at arrows, some that have endpoints with open circles and closed circles, and some that have endpoints either open or closed, and then they would finish with an arrow. Now, when we talk about domain, what is the domain of a graph? I hope you had a chance to look at the Star Wars video where these trash compactor walls were coming in from the sides. And then from there, uh, we're gonna use those stopping points where the trash compactor stops to be our limits for where the domain range are gonna begin and end. So it, the domain is all the x values that make up the graph, or where does this graph exist along the x-axis? If you see a line, the walls come in, and you see them stopping at arrows. Whenever a graph stops at arrows, they're gonna release and go off to infinity and negative infinity. So we would say this graph's domain exists between positive or negative infinity and positive infinity. The next graph that we had had endpoints. So the walls come in and they stop at negative or positive one and positive four. Now this one means this, we're not gonna include the, the one, but we are gonna include the four, but the domain exact, that basically exists between one and four. Next, we have an end point near to an arrow, so the graph comes in, or the walls come in, and our wall stops at two, and then the other one's gonna release and go off to infinity. So you'll say that this graph's domain exists from two out to infinity. Now, there is a mathematical way of writing these as an interval notation that uses inequalities. We need to be aware of what kind of inequality, in, what inequality to use when uh, looking at these graphs. So you'll see that we have an open circle here or an arrow that our walls could stop at. If your walls stop at an arrow or, a, or an open circle, you're gonna use this kind of inequality. If they stop at a solid dot, like this one does right here, then you're gonna use a less than or equal to symbol. And here's how you do the inequality for the first one. Since we're stopping at arrows on both of these right here, you're gonna notice that our domain is gonna be all the x values that are greater than negative infinity and also less than positive infinity. That's our domain for lines that have arrows on both ends. As you start to see this next one here, here it has endpoints that stop at one and four, but we're not going to include the one. So we're not gonna put an equal to sign in our inequality to show that. So we're saying this graph's domain exists between one and four, but we're gonna say x values that are greater than one and x values that are less than or equal to positive four. And last of all, over here, we have a graph that has a starting point at two and an ending point at in infinity. So we'll say that this graph goes from two to infinity, noticing that it has an open circle, and then it also finishes at an arrow. So we're gonna use less than symbols for both of those types of uh, endpoints. That's domain, so how wide is the graph? Now we're also gonna ask what the question is, what is the range of a graph? Well, that means how low, or the, where's the bottom and where's the top? So the ceiling, the floor comes up from the bottom and the ceiling comes down from the top, and we're gonna talk about those same kind of graphs. So when you see the first graph over here, and, it, and like I just said, it's all the y values. When you look at this first graph over here, we're gonna say this graph goes from negative infinity, because it hits an arrow and releases, comes in from the top and hits the arrow and goes off to the top and releases, this one has a range that goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Again, not using equal signs because you can't equal infinity since it never stops. This next graph, the, wall, the walls, the, the top and the bottom come in, they're gonna stop at two, and they're also gonna stop at seven. In this case right here, then, we say that we have our domain going from the bottom to the top, I mean our range from the bottom to the top, going from two to positive seven. Using an equal sign for the one that's solid and an open uh, circle to give you a less than symbol for the one on the bottom. Last of all, the, 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 the top and the bottom come in on this graph right here as well. They're gonna stop at three and stop at infinity, and you'll notice that the graphs, the range then of this graph will be from three up to positive infinity. That's basically domain range. The next thing I want you to try to do now is download your uh, slideshow, and if you wanna watch first how you, I'm gonna show you first how to use this, but then uh, you'll use your own slideshow to finish off the rest of questions uh, four through seven. So make sure you're in presentation mode. Now, let's start out by doing the uh, domain first of this graph. The walls are gonna come in, or the trash compactor, and they're gonna stop at negative three. The other walls are gonna come in, and it's gonna hit the arrow. Remember we said arrows, you need to make sure they release. So arrows, this is gonna release off to the side. Let's write down what our domain is of this graph. The domain is gonna be from negative three out to positive infinity. So negative three out to positive infinity. The domain is made up of what values? The x values. So make sure you have x in the middle. Then you have to decide what kind of inequality to use. We have an open circle here, so we wanna make sure to use less than for those, and infinity with arrows, we have to also use less than. So this domain is gonna be described as all the values that are between negative three and infinity are gonna be the possible answers that make up this graph for the x values. The range, let's do that next. Bring the range wall up, 
that's going to stop at the negative 2, and it's going to come down from the top and actually hit an arrow and then release also. So we'll release that and go up above. So this graph's range goes as low as negative 2, and it also hits the maximum height of infinity. So when you write out your answer in the computer on your classwork, question number 1, you'll see that right here, make sure you're going from negative 2 up to positive infinity, and we have y values described for the range. Where does this graph uh, exist vertically? It's between negative 2 and positive infinity. Now, since I have an open circle, I don't want to include that either. And since I have infinity as my top, also I want to make sure that is also a less than symbol as well. That's question number one. Number two, I'm going to clear off the screen here first. Number two, you're going to see this graph. Let me get it here. Uh, here. This graph, let's try to figure out this domain. So always start with the domain first, like the trash impactor, the walls coming in. So when the walls come in here, you're going to stop at, oops, let me try it again. And you may have this, this issue too. Click somewhere else first and then grab it. It has to then move together as one grouped item. It'll stop at negative three. Then if I take this over here and slide this one in, it's going to stop at positive three. So how you'd stop, you'll notice that our walls hit the graph at two endpoints. Therefore, we're going to write our two endpoints down for our domain. So our domain looks like this. We have a domain at negative three, and it stops at positive three. Then we're talking about x values for domain, and then we have to decide what kind of inequality to use. This one has an open circle, that one has a closed circle. So the open circle we don't equal, the closed circle at 3 we do include with an equal sign. That's how the domain looks. The range is going to come in from the bottom, and you're going to basically barely move this in here, and notice that it's at negative 5 on the y-axis, and then it comes in from the top, and there's no dot there. That's kind of a problem, right? However, these graphs are made of infinite solid dots when you look at a continuous graph. So therefore, always treat maximum values like this or minimum values that don't have dots as solid dots. So we're going to include that point at positive 3. So our range goes from negative 5, range goes from negative 5 to the possible, highest possible value at positive 3. Again, we're talking about y values, so the y goes in the middle. And then the last thing is, what do we include or not include? We're not going to include the negative 5, so we're going to use a plain old less than symbol but we are going to equal the highest point at 3, so we're going to use less than or equal to. Okay? That's question number 2 in your classwork. Enter that in when you do have a chance to later. Then, last one, it's kind of a special case kind of problem. I want you to look at this one next, and that's going to be like a graph that looks like this. A horizontal line. A horizontal line, domain comes in, oh, hit an arrow, that means a release. This wall comes in, hits an arrow, that's got a release. So my domain is pretty simple to write. I'm kind of running out of space right this, I'm going to release this all the way over. My domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. X values in the middle. I can't equal infinity, so therefore we're going to say less than on both of those values, and that's my domain for this line graph. It gets tricky now because when the range comes in, you're going to come in and you're going to stop right at the line. This graph is going to come up and stop right at the line. That's kind of a problem. The only place this graph exists is at positive 3. So when you have range for some times, you're going to notice that the range can sometimes be an equal equa or an equation where it just equals the y value that makes up this graph, and that's only at 3. That's your graph, uh, the domain range of the graph of a horizontal line that goes through y equals the equation y equals 3. Now what I need to have you do is finish going to your classwork, download the, the, uh, the PowerPoint, and then go through the last four remaining uh, classwork questions, and good luck.